Hello and welcome to Cluing for Looks, I'm Jevon Woodrow and that was definitely a different type of Sherlock episode. Previously we've seen mysteries where we don't know who the murderer is. This time though, we're told right from the very start of the episode who the killer is. And it's a case of now just proving it somehow. One thing that is becoming a bit frequent is... Culverton Smith is the most dangerous person we've ever dealt with. Also, Charles Augustus Magnuson is the most dangerous person we've ever dealt with. Also, Jim Moriarty is the most dangerous person we've ever dealt with. It's getting a bit tiresome now, okay? They're not all the most dangerous person we've ever dealt with, okay? One of them might be Moriarty. The other two were just... There. I found Toby Jones' character sickening. Deep, sickly feel inside me going, he's horrible. He's not nice at all. And when a villain can do that, I think that is good writing. But he's not the most dangerous man they've ever had to deal with. Now, to give it its dues, the drug scenes were hilarious, especially when Sherlock starts walking up the walls. That bit was particularly funny, and um, and I, I think I know how they did it. I think I think they what they did was they they turned they turned the camera like like that, and that way I'm now walking up the side of the wall. Yeah, woo! Either that, or they put the set on sideways. I don't. It's just, one of those two things. Anyway, very cool effects. I thought the whole, the car chase was hilarious. It's like Sherlock Holmes makes an entrance and I'd know, or he'd make me know of his presence. Bin flies past window, <laughs> whole family crack up. Literally hilarious. And then it's not even Sherlock, it's Mrs. Hudson. <laughs> what? Now, obviously, she does have money from the drug cartel, and she has very dodgy backgrounds. I mean, let's face it, she's going to have money, and she's going to have a fancy Aston Martin, or whatever it was. I wasn't really paying attention to the car. If it was an Aston Martin, I was paying attention to the car. What, I did... juiced it? I think the most funny part of the episode, though, was when Sherlock was walking around London with who he thought was Culverton Smith's daughter. And it only transpires in, like, the the MI5 building when everyone bursts into laughter and we just see Uckoff. It's, th that's what he's spelling out by walking across London. It's absolutely hilarious. Oh, oh look, it's some spoilers. Now, it turns out we hadn't seen all of Mary's message. We'd seen Go to Hell, Sherlock, but we hadn't realised why. Um, and... The whole message was basically, you need to save John by putting yourself in danger. He won't accept help, he needs to give it. Which was very clever, I thought, and um, a very good plot device. And also, things. And now an action figure adventure, Sherlock on Drugs. Jing 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 This is another way they could have done that bit with an action figure of Benedict Cumberbatch. Just a fan theory. Obviously, the main talking point of the episode is the third brother. We've finally met the third brother, who's a sister. Why? I'm sure we'll find out next week why the brother was a sister and the name changes every now and again. Uh, I mean, it's not Sharonford. Or is it Sharonford? I just don't know anymore. It's, it's too much. It's too much. Now, there was a lot of hope that Tom Hiddleston would play the third brother. Obviously, unless he's in full drag and amazing it's amazing drag amazing 
it's not him. Anyway, that's a shame, and I'd like to see Tom Hiddleston join basically a league of British men doing very British things, going, I'm Sherlock Holmes, I'm Mycroft Holmes, I'm Sherinford, who named me? They're a dick. So, overall, John's been shot, supposedly, um, and in the, all the promotional images, there's now a hole in Baker Street, several holes, it looks like it's burnt down. But lucky for him, Sherlock's sofa survives. It's a really cool sofa. Wait until next week. It should be amazing. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, do subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I shall see you next week. But maybe before then. Because on Tuesday, on the Sherlock website, they're doing live deductions. That is a live case of Sherlock on the website. Go and see it. I think it's at 8pm. Check that out. It should be good. Hopefully. Live. Supposedly. So, we've got two more episodes of Sherlock, really. Tuesday night, 8pm. And then next Sunday at 9. Make sure you watch them. My reviews of both will come soon after them. And uh, I hope to see you again for another... What's this called? See you next time for another Cluing for Looks, where I might get this bit of the outro right. Oh. Bugger.